Rescuers worked frantically in the capital Tirana and other quake-hit cities on Tuesday to pull people trapped under the rubble of apartment buildings. Relatives have been looking for missing family members across the quake zone. This is my niece, Drita Chaconi, who is still lost under the ruins. I do not know where she could be. I just arrived from Tumani. I have found nothing so far. I want the state to give me at least an explanation. Is she in Leja? Is she at the morgue? Or is she here? Located along the Adriatic and Ionian seas between Greece and North Macedonia, Albania experiences regular seismic activity, but officials say this one was the strongest in at least 20 years. When the quake hit, the lights went off. We couldn't see anything. Everything fell apart and crumbled. The quake struck in the early morning Tuesday when many people were still asleep. The tumbler and its aftershocks were felt along the Albanian coast in several Balkan countries and across the Adriatic Sea in southern Italy. Most of the deaths were reported in the coastal city of Daris and the town of Tomane, close to the epicenter. Albanian Prime Minister Edi Rama visited Tomane on Tuesday to hear first-hand accounts from local officials and residents. I lost everything. I don't know where to go. My mother is 90 years old, sick and on medication. But we will somehow survive under the tents. The earthquake made many buildings unsafe. Authorities have called on residents of the most affected areas to stay away from their homes and take shelter in tents that have been set up as temporary housing. Officials say they have dispatched 300 soldiers and 1,900 police to Daris and Tumani to assist with the rescue efforts. European countries also have sent aid and teams to help with the rescue and recovery efforts in Albania. Zlarica Hope, 